Hey everyone, uh, this is Brian Urban with Counselor uh, with a quick review of our latest updates and enhancements. Now the list this time isn't enormous, uh, but there were a few things that we were really excited about uh, that we wanted to make sure we got out to you as soon as possible. So we'll start here with the first one, uh, the line item list administration, specifically the mass update feature. So here I am in administration, then line item list, and now I'll click on mass update. Uh, you likely saw this in a previous release we had uh, a couple weeks ago where there are now um, filters for each column so you only have to see the specific information that you want to work with or view or update right you don't have to see the full table at one go uh, now we've added a few more uh, filters in here so you can designate a specific uh, manufacturer for example and just see the devices for that manufacturer and then beyond that if you want to filter down you can certainly look at say for example just CICs or whatever style it is you want to view so the idea here is we want you to be able to go into the mass update feature see the specific devices you want to work with very quickly make any changes updates adjustments and then click save okay um, so we believe it really is going to improve the performance overall of that page and the ability for you to update that information quickly now on a related note we've also added those same types of filters to the invoice screen. So here's a, an invoice I started for a patient. I've already selected hearing aid as the type. And now, instead of having to look through the entire list, which you still can do, by the way, you still can look through the whole list, uh, but I'm able to search by certain things. So if I want to look at just CICs, for example, or look at phonic devices that are CICs or RICs or whatever I want to look at, I can certainly do that. And then when I go to do the item drop-down list, it's just going to show me, in this case, Phonak Ricks. Okay. And then as a third area here, and we haven't talked about this much before, but Counselor has the ability where you can designate specific technology levels for each device. So, for example, if you use um, uh, Bron you know, basic, mid-level, premier, or if you use level one, level two, or use different number designations for different levels, and then you maybe you group um, devices from different manufacturers within those levels, that can all be set up in Counselor. So if you said, okay, I want to see all just premium technology, premier technology, that's up to you. You wouldn't necessarily have to set these other filters, right? Uh, if you have any questions about setting the technologies, please let us know. We are happy to walk through that with you, of course, along with any of these other areas. But the point is, is you can set these filters and you can very quickly isolate uh, the specific device or devices that you want to add to an invoice. All right. Um, now to the last area here, this is also, you know, oddly kind of uh, in a very nerdy way, exciting uh, for me anyway, for <laughs> um, because I think it's going to save a lot of time with the QuickBooks status or getting things ready to be synced with QuickBooks. Uh, as it stood with Counselor prior to this release, uh, when you created a new invoice, you did need to designate on that invoice that it was ready as far as the QuickBooks integration. Uh, or sync and then every payment you entered you need to note it as ready uh, now the way it works is if you want to this is an opt-in feature you can have the um, invoices and the payments automatically set as ready so when you create the invoice they're already set to ready um, and, and then um, regarding repost there's a, a, a separate option that lets you decide whether or not uh, if a or when I'm sorry an invoice has been modified so line items have, have been modified and or a payment has been modified, the invoice and the payments can be set to repost automatically. So let's say you um, created an invoice for a patient, uh, took payment, uh, synced it with QuickBooks, and then a month later you got your payment from the insurance uh, for the insurance company. You could then go back into Counselor, apply that payment, modify the line items to accommodate for the adjustments. That would automatically tell the invoice to repost. Um, if you went back in the, regarding payments and let's say you modified a payment, maybe you made a mistake or something, you of course could modify that payment, then that would also set that payment to repost as well. So these are options that are available uh, within the administration section under the uh, clinic list. And then you edit the clinic itself and select advanced settings and then QuickBook settings. And these are the two areas that you would look at specifically. And there is a little description there. Now you'll note here, you don't have to have both of them checked. If you say, no, we still want to set these manually as ready, but then have the automated repost option or vice versa. So you can have both one or the other or neither, of course. Um, like I said, these are opt-in. So by default, these would not be checked. Uh, if you do have multiple clinics, you'll want to do that, of course, for each clinic as well. So, uh, 
regarding any of these changes or any other areas of counselor that you're curious about or would like to see us uh, work on, please let us know. Give us a call, lab chat us, email us. Uh, we're always happy to help. Thank you so much for all the uh, just excellent feedback, support, and ideas. Uh, please keep it coming. Uh, have a wonderful day.